Hi, this is Aaron, and today we're going to talk about the Apple Magic Mouse. Now, I have been using a Blue Track Explorer mouse for some time, and it's a pretty large mouse. Um, I really do like it, and I had been debating buying the Magic Mouse. In fact, I asked some of you, what do you think? Uh, should I get the Magic Mouse? A lot of you said no, and uh, so I didn't, and I waited, and ended up buying it. Uh, discount from uh, one of those discount websites it had a little bit of scratches on it but it was a it was a decent price so I figured I'd pick it up try it out and maybe share that with you so my experience overall has been pretty positive the magic mouse is definitely sleek and very thin and you can see maybe right here uh, how small it really is the magic mouse is very low profile compared to the explore blue track mouse that i've been using you can see my hand uh, actually rests really comfortably on top of it and works pretty good um, and and the mouse i've been happy with however i really want to try out some of the gestures on the magic mouse and see how it works and i'm glad i did because OS 10, or uh, I want to say Snow Lion, OS 10 Lion actually incorporates some gestures that uh, allow you to do some different things within the UI that I'm pretty uh, glad I got it for to try it out when it does come out. So the mouse, uh, I'm not going to do any unboxing since most of you have probably seen this by now, but just want to give you my take since I really do like different uh, mice mouses or whatever you want to call them i've gone through quite a bit i probably have at home right now five or six just because i like to try out different ones so um no back forward buttons but you can use your two fingers to sweep back sweep forward and it has a decent uh decent response and is is a replacement for the back and forward buttons on something like this blue track mouse the uh mouse itself tracks pretty nicely now I know people have complained but first let me show you uh, ergonomically about it and then we'll go on to tracking and things like that uh, if I put my hand on this this uh, Explorer blue track mouse you can see I have pretty big hands and this fits me quite nicely however if I switch over to the magic mouse I can barely hang on to it but it actually I grip it I grip it kind of like this and it seems to work fine and it actually isn't uncomfortable over time to use so um, when I move this around it, it's pretty nice once you get used to it because you get used to scrolling with just one finger you go back or go forward and you get really used to it um, it seems to not be as bad ergonomically as I thought now if I was to hold it like this and click or right click as I have it set up it works well but that uh, uh, the click I'm not sure I like totally for both left and right but I think overall it's pretty decent but if I hold this in my hand like this um, I, it would be really uncomfortable just to kind of drag my hand around the desktop and I don't use a mouse pad as you can kind of see uh, it'd be pretty uncomfortable to just drag my hand around like this but holding it like this isn't so bad because I'm using my fingers a lot to do different gestures so uh, let me go ahead and kind of show you we'll go to uh, my website here there we go now if I want to move around or scroll I can scroll like this and let me kind of give you a comparison to the Explorer blue track mouse here's a wheel you can see it's it's not that it's jerky it's a normal wheel and isn't smooth like this scroll is if I go faster it goes faster if I go slow it goes slow just like on an iPad or an iPhone if I want to go back, I use two fingers. If I want to go forward, I use two fingers. Now there is some additional software you can download that will give you uh, different abilities, like three finger swipes for expose or whatever you really want to set it up for, and it works pretty well. Uh, but I'm just not using it at this time. Uh, it's it's set to default. Now, as far as tracking goes, so let me kind of give you an example. So here's um, let's see if I can move it to the B try to give you an idea I'm just gonna move this a little bit I'll nudge it with my fingernail to try and there's one pixel let me try and do the same with the it, it, to me I know people have complained about this laser on here but at least this surface that I'm using it on I really have no tracking problems whatsoever and I haven't tracked the exact same as the Explorer blue track mouse I don't have an issue whatsoever it seems to work good back and forth the scroll has always been responsive and I know initially a lot of people had connection problems with Bluetooth as it connects over Bluetooth this is actually a USB 
key fob as you can kind of see in here um, I don't have any issues connection wise I know others have I haven't had one actually so I've only had it for a couple of weeks but I have been using it regularly and I think it works really well and uh, should be nice when line comes up but I just kind of want to show you that you know some people may not like it but you really need to try it and give it more than a couple days to get used to it I've actually found myself trying to go back to this mouse and it actually feels foreign now uh, compared to the magic mouse now I haven't used this for say like an eight-hour shift at work or anything like that um, and that might be very tiring over time if you're doing a lot of point and click um, so you may want to keep your old mouse handy uh, but it's worth checking out and if you don't like it you could always sell it on you know eBay or Craigslist or whatever and probably get a decent amount for it but just wanted to give you my take if you have any questions or anything else you'd like to see uh, definitely feel free to message me as I uh, talk to quite a few of you lately online and uh, hope to see more of you this is Aaron thanks for watching please subscribe and comment I'll see you next time